this is one of the rare times where I'm fully with PETA. <laughs> 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 when you're, you know, it's like when you side with PETA on things, it's like, you know, like this is this has got to be an egregious example of something absolutely horrific. And, um, you know, the one situation where the woman who was so drunk kept the chimp and then attacked her daughter and the, the whole thing is like at the end of the show, it's like, oh, my God, I don't know if I could keep doing this. Yeah. No, it's interesting you mentioned PETA because I'm not fully aligned with PETA on a number of things. But in this case, I I am aligned with PETA. Um, but just to touch on PETA, you know, you know, I work with reptiles and I try to save turtles and tortoises, which um, actually are the most endangered group of animals, along with primates. Uh, if turtles you th- and tortoises, really? If you think about the percentage that are on the brink of extinction, over half of primates are on the brink of extinction and over half of turtles and tortoises. I had no idea. But where I am not aligned with PETA is when you have to make a choice between, you know, eradicating a rat that's killing off the last... Galapagos tortoises, or, or eradicate a mongoose that was introduced that's killing off, you know, an iguana in the Caribbean. I will make that choice. PETA basically views it as the rat has rights just as much as the tortoise, mm. and I'd like to have the tortoise around for future generations. So, um, so I'm not always aligned with PETA, but in this case, yes. Well, they they have a background with the Animal Liberation Organization, which essentially doesn't think that any animals mm. should be captive. And I I do understand their point, but then you have Carl. How do you? How's Carl gonna not have an owner? How's How's little Carl mm-hmm. over there not gonna be fed? <laughs> I mean, do you want French bulldogs to go extinct? Because they will. They can't even breed. If you did a poll and asked how many people at PETA keep dogs, it's at like ninety five percent, which is crazy. So it's a little hypocritical if they don't want people to have pets. Well, you know, it's one of those things. It's like the how it starts and how it's going you know like what what where did it start from you know it start and i see their look all dogs are a, a horrible misjustice that's been done to wolves like we yeah. somehow or another we have yeah. become friends with wolves and yeah. turned them into these strange things but the reality of life in 2024 is we have dogs you know, and, you know, dogs need owners and they, they love you and they it's a great relationship. Like, But it's in their genetics, right? Yeah. I mean, they've been Thousand, sure. thousands, 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 thousands of years. Of years. We, right. It's we, like saying that we yeah. should be going back to chimps. Yeah. Sure. We should live in the jungle. Yeah. We should we should live in trees, yeah. which is also crazy. What is it, Erica? We are, chimps are more like chimps than we are human? Is that Chimps are closer to us than they are gorillas because we are the subfamily of chimpanzees, which are called homonyms. And yes, chimpanzees are closer, uh, closely related to us more than any other ape. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But it's you know back to what you said a minute ago about making these movies. I just want to touch on you know why we do this because a lot of people miss the point of Tiger King. Even um, there's a point. Yeah, there's a point. I think I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we were really trying to get Joe exotic elected president. That was the <laughs> point. Um, no, but the point was that a lot of docs, man, are great and they they are really informative, but they preach to the converted people that already know the issue. Mm-hmm. You know, like the Cove, or and they're great. Right. And you know what we wanted to do is preach to people that don't know about the issue. So you had to cast, you had to get a lot of eyeballs on it to make a difference, right? Right. So that was sort of the goal of both Tiger King and Chimp Crazy. 